Hey, nice shirt, Randy. I just saw what you were wearing there. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Friend of mine. It's out there that wants one Ew. of those for sale. Yeah, Gross. absolutely. Yeah, hit us up. If you want a bleach bang shirt, it's the... Uh, the newest and the greatest. Uh, it's got through the gates on the back. Absolutely. Hit us up. <laughs> We'd love to sell them to you. It'd be great. <laughs> Just like I'm buying a house. Support. Be, support it would be us. great. <laughs> right. <laughs> I need to sell about uh, 637 <laughs> shirts. <laughs> day. <laughs> right. Yeah, a day. Right. <laughs> For the next 10 years at least. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what's been going on in the music world? Music. Well, first of all, <laughs> oh, my apologies. Wow. Uh, first of all, <laughs> CJ Snare uh, is having surgery, so he is not going to be performing the Firehouse uh, until he's healed up uh, with some abdominal issues, I believe. Mm hmm. Kind of yeah. sad. Uh, get well, CJ. I'd love to be able to say that I can go see you again. Uh, I just went and saw Guns N' Roses. Yeah. Last so week. Where's your proof? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> How much were those, John? Uh, that set of two cups was ten dollars. Oh well, that's not horrible. That really that's isn't really horrible. Not bad. No, oh, that's like. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. I wasn't upset in the back, says, uh... Heck yeah! <laughs> okay. And then the other back says, you know. <laughs> right on, that's that, was some merch. that was some fun merch stuff. I think we have a guest here waiting We do. This. And that's probably more important than me showing you my cups from the <laughs> <laughs> Like, by far. Right. <laughs> hey Kurt, how up, you guys? doing? Good, how are you guys doing? Doing great, man. Pretty it's good, good to see you. Sorry, I, I was just sitting here and I didn't see the little join thing up in the corner. And I wasn't... <laughs> <laughs> Get your head out it's like, all right, guys, me. come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sorry, yeah this is a new platform for us. It, it, it's a little different. It, it, we've been kind of just feeling our way with with it and everything do you have any trouble except for the no, join no, button I, well i clicked on it and then i had to get the app and stuff i did i, I didn't oh. know it, it wasn't zoom but sorry it took me a couple minutes but then i'm no, sitting no, here, no, no. just sitting here smoking and i'm like why is nothing <laughs> happening and i thought you were the <laughs> Then I'm like, oh, there's the join button up there. So. <laughs> That's awesome. 15 yeah. minutes plus or minus time is on time for us. Exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to give us time to screw shit up first. I mean, because, uh, right. you know. <laughs> well, no, I love you missed my out. botched entrance. Oh, I did? Did you have yeah, a botch? Yeah, it's okay. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. No, thank you. Thank you for coming on. So, uh, Let's talk. You got a lot going on, man. Um, I guess, yeah. Introduce ourselves. You want to tell them who we are, type stuff, real quick. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do that every time. I just want to skate right into it, man. <laughs> I'm Randy. I'm in Oklahoma City. All right. Nice to meet you, man. I'm Ashton. I'm also in Oklahoma City. Very cool. And I'm John. I'm in Topeka, Kansas. In Kansas. Okay. My, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my, um, uh, my mother, my grandmother, who lived to be 106, oh. and my mother are both from Oklahoma. Still awesome. Water. Where at? Yeah. Still water? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Huh. Still water. It's real close. Is, Still water is what, like 45 minutes from us? Mm hmm. Probably my grandma oh, got a uh, degree in home ec back when women really didn't get degrees back in probably the 30s from Oklahoma A&M when it was called A&M. <laughs> Holy I mean, I, Yeah, so. That's insane. There, so. <laughs> nice. I know nice. Oklahoma City and my uncle used to own the Lady Classen cafeterias. Remember the Lady Classen cafeterias? Uh, I have not. I know where Classen is, and I'm assuming that it was on Classen. It was over there, yeah. So yeah. Gone, I think it's gone now, but he owned, he owned the, the Lady Classen. So, Heck yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. There you go. A little <laughs> trivia for you. Ha ha, he and doesn't I, have anything I'm to do with Topeka. I'm Kurt that's what I'm, I, that's, I'm Kurt that's Dimer right. from Cincinnati, Ohio. So. Cincinnati, oh, yeah. Ohio. Yeah, I've got a story. You don't have any Kansas Oklahoma stories in Topeka. No don't have anybody from Topeka? No. So no, no the only thing I know about Kansas that I that I like is the guy Freddy's from there who started the Freddy's franchise. I think that started in oh. Kansas. And, Hell uh, yeah! Yeah, I have nothing bad of it to say about Kansas. I, I think it's a, I think you got a kick-ass football team. You beat the Bengals last year, but we beat yeah. the year before. But uh, other than that, yeah, <laughs> nothing negative about Kansas. <laughs> Technically, they're in Missouri. Oh, that's right. And you're, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that always screws me up because you're, you, okay, Kansas City is in Missouri and in Kansas. Which yeah, is it's too up. Yeah. Up. I, I don't get that. It is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. But, so, but even though they're in Missouri, don't you root for Kansas City and that you don't have a, that's your team, right? I mean,. I don't want to admit this right now, but I'm a Bears fan. Well, I'm a, I, I graduated high school in Chicago, so I'm a Bears fan, too. I'm a Bears and Bengals fan. Right on. So. The bees. So I, I do, like, support your team because it's local, but, but yeah. uh, still Bears yeah, fan. I, I just saw the, uh, a lake up in Michigan, so I'm, now I'm technically a Bears, Detroit, and Bengals fan. But, I just like to watch NFL football. I love it. Right. I feel that. It's I the best that. sport to watch. It's the only sport I can really watch on TV because it's so engaging, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, my mm-hmm. God, yeah. Yeah. The other <laughs> sport, it just bores the fuck out of me, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel that. So I'm just sitting here in a motel room. I can't tell you where because I'm smoking in it. You know, but I... <laughs> In a, <laughs> somewhere in the U.S. in a motel room. So, <laughs> um, fair enough. Would it be in Montana somewhere? Oh, don't say that. <laughs> no, he, he's in Mexico. He's in a hotel in Mexico. Don't drop that. It's in Montana. You're right. It's in Montana. So that's all I'm going to give you. Though. <laughs> Quit asking. <laughs> well, speaking of Montana, um, you've got a show tomorrow, uh, Friday and Saturday, and you're you're with Buck Cherry right now, right? Yeah, we just finished uh, uh, a great month of September with Skid Row, Buck Cherry, and us, and the gang's all here to her. And then we picked up last night. We played in uh, North Dakota with just us and Buck Cherry, and now we have three more shows, just us and Buck Cherry. So. So now our set got to go from 30 minutes to 45, and we get to play in four places. We've never been to Montana or North Dakota, so it's really cool that we could continue on in Buck Cherry. wanted to have us along with them, so yeah, it's, it's awesome. Hell yeah. That's awesome. So, I know that uh, Eric's been having some vocal problems and stuff. Is that Was he doing okay on the tour then? 
Yeah, yeah. Well, he uh, he got sent for a few of the days, but then he rejoined. With Skid Row rejoined us in uh, Pennsylvania, so we ended up doing uh, the uh, Lynn and the Portland, Maine, Lynn, Massachusetts, and the Huntington, New York show, just us and Buck Cherry. But we just carried on, and uh, then they rejoined us. And now the guys from Skid Row went back east to go finish their, you know, playing those shows for the fans. So that's what right we're on. Doing. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's really cool. Look, looks like uh, you're stacked as far. I'm on your website and looking at all the the uh, the dates that you have. I mean, uh, you it's amazing. Those website dates with everybody out there in the world. You what? I'm I sorry. Could. What do you say? It's actually on my other computer. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was a good try. I, I will. Don't worry. I'll do everything. Oh my gosh! What? This guy. This guy. <laughs> yeah, there it is. KirkDimer.com. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> look at that. Check it out there. Everything. Yeah, we're gonna finish oh these shows in Montana. Montana. Then we're heading out with Mushroom Head for October and going on their tour with them. They were uh, gracious enough to want to have us along. So, looking forward I to that. Yeah, I love cool. Mushroom Head. Yeah, they're awesome guys. Matter of fact, our intro uh, has some photos of Mushroom Head, and it, they're just so just so good to photograph and and just see live. Their performance is just just absolutely amazing and they just uh they, yeah just they're they're so good so good I, anytime they're around within an hour two hours we're we're at a mushroom head show yeah well, for I, sure I, we're coming I, I we'll be pretty close to you i think i'm not i'm not how far are you from st louis oh uh, that's a john one oh, that's st. like louis, for far. me that's five hours yeah. Yeah, I was oh. like, it's it's six ish, oh, okay. between six and seven, I'd say for here. Yeah, so I don't think we come to Oklahoma, Maybe. but I don't, I don't know. I, that would I mean, be I just want to go to that. St. Louis. So we'll I don't. We've never we've never played in Oklahoma, actually. Uh, yeah, I see. You got a Houston and a Dallas. A Dallas. Those that's are, what I was looking at. You got a that's Dallas. About three down hours there. south. Yeah. Hell yeah. Right that's, a, that's a possibility. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys are welcome to come as my guest if you want to come down to Dallas or wherever. Just let me oh, know. that would be that would be awesome. That's And it's going to be with Mushroom Head there, too? It's us, Mushroom, it's Mushroom Head, Hell's a Poppins, Freak Show or Circus Side Show, and then uh, us in a band called Fleisch Creek. I think nice. that's Hell it. Yeah. if I pronounced it wrong, I apologize, but I think that's it. <laughs> so yeah, it's all four. We can do a live podcast from Dallas. Hell yeah. That'd be awesome. <laughs> so. Let's see. What, what day is that on? October 14th, Saturday. It's a Saturday. There you go. Don't all tempt right. me. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to switch gears on you just a touch here. Because I want to touch base on uh, the work you're doing with horror films. Yeah, I, uh, I've got two films that uh, that have already been shot. One's Hellbilly Hollow, and uh, I own the franchise for that. And I play a twisted, psychotic, freaked, freaky fucker. And I have a brother named Tickles. So that should draw you in enough right there and it, it's actually filmed at an actual site called Hellbilly Hollow that's a real haunted attraction and it's kind of like the first Halloween because I was in Halloween in eight, 2018 and it gave me the idea when I was in the that John Carpenter the, one of the last three reboots the first of the three that I want to do my own horror franchise and uh, after I got killed by Michael Myers I knew I was out of Halloween so I uh, <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm going to do my own franchise now where I kill everybody and, uh, you know, or my brother Tickles does, and uh, I can keep doing more of them. And so it's kind of like the first Halloween, if you will. It was kind of like cutting my teeth and 
it's a great film. It's a, it, you'll laugh, you'll be like, "What the fuck? These guys are so twisted." It's just it's psychotic, but it introduces you to Bull, my character, and tickles my brother. And then Hellbilly Hollow Two, I've already written, and that's going to take you back to our roots and the, the freaky background we came from, and that's even crazier. But we have to get our feet wet first, so it's like the first Halloween, if you will, and then we. The second one will be more like what you saw. I was in an 18. That because we'll get a studio behind us at that point. So that's one of them. The other one is called Scared to Death, and I just shot mm-hmm. that in March, and that stars me, Lynn Shea from Insidious, and something about Mary and Kingpin. You all know Lynn Shea, got the tongue mm-hmm. before. And then Bill Mosley from uh, The Devil's Rejects, all the Rob Zombie movies, House of a Thousand Corpses. So. The three of us and there's others that star in that movie and that's introducing a new character for me um called the grog and uh i'm a real human being but my name's gregory grogstone and everybody calls me the grog because i'm a horror icon playing a horror icon in the movie so it'll be really cool so that that's coming as well and that should that should come out in theaters just because bill and lynn are in there and it should come all over and then my goal now is to shop Hillbilly Hollow after that comes out because then people will know more who Kurt Dimer is and, right. and then cool. uh, that can follow right after it while we go shoot some other films so but yeah thank you that's for awesome. that's that. badass yeah, I, I love all that shit so I never thought I'd get back into acting but I got ne- well get back in I, let me rephrase that I never thought I'd be an actor okay I never even thought about it and I went down to do a cameo in 2017 for my oil brand Starfire because I, I, I had started my own oil company in 99 and uh, we were doing a cameo and, and, and we were part of that movie and they ended up casting me in a speaking role and I ended up shooting the final scene in the movie and it being the announcer of the track and acting with John Travolta and Shania Twain and Game of Thrones people, Michael Madsen, all those people, and I'm like, okay, this is a sign, and I loved it, and it, it, it I was just natural for me, so I just kept going from there. That's awesome. So that is awesome. How, how do you how do you see yourself going? Do you want to? Do you consider yourself an actor or music? Um, which which way are you feeling? I I. I going to be doing both until the day I die. Um, you only live once. I raised my kids. I started my other companies. They run themselves now. Um, nobody's given me anything in life. I've worked my ass off my whole life and you only live once and I love acting. I love. It's totally different to be in front of the camera and then improvise and do all the, that kind of cool shit which I'm, uh, I actually Everybody says I'm really, really good at and all that. Even Bill Mosley said he's I'm one of the best straight men he's ever worked with. And then, you know, <laughs> and then to go on stage, I'm like an actor too because when I go on stage, yeah. I'm not chill Kurt, you know, I'm crazy Kurt, you know, and I rock out and my band rocks out and we don't sound like everybody else. We do it our way. And that's another form of acting to me, if you will. We're entertaining people and the two can go together hand in hand now. The schedules might get busier as the future as people discover and figure out who Kurt Dimer is, but I'm fine. I'll be busy every day of the year. I don't care. I don't have to work in seconds enough. So I love both. So and they'll both blend together. That's why I go out with my music under my name, so it doesn't confuse people. So right, right on. And, and you're right. They, they they have a lot in common. Makes yeah. sense. So with with that, with your films that you're doing, will you do some of the music score stuff that goes to them? Good thing, yes. And uh, um, I, in Hellbilly Hollow, there's probably seven of our songs on the soundtrack. And then I wrote the song that we just put out. We have a single that came out August 11th called Doom. And you can stream it anywhere you stream music. We got CDs coming that will be selling on the website and it shows for it. But, Doom just came out, it's a featured song in the movie, it's that final big scene, and it kicks right into Doom and goes through the credits and other stuff, so that's on there, and then about six of our other songs with Doom, and then I just scored the um, and wrote the song for 
scared to death, and it's called scared to death, and it's wicked as shit, man. And it's <laughs> it's really Alice Cooperish, creepy rock. You know, it's just really really badass. And so yeah, that'll be featured in that movie as well. So dude, I can't wait. I I absolutely love horror movies. Oh my god, yes. You know, I want to. <laughs> Another another great film that's out there that we said it goes hand in hand. Um, Kiss Meets the Phantom of the Park. They did that show. They did some acting. They did some music. Kiss. What is it? <laughs> Kiss Meets the Phantom of the Park. Phantom, Phantom of the Park. Yeah, it was like an old like seventies TV show or straight to TV movie type thing. But I used, I have it on VHS somewhere. Yeah. Of course you do. <laughs> of course you do. That's <laughs> Oh my gosh. Why don't we check out some Doom? I was actually going to lead to that, but I had to get that reference. You had from. to throw a kiss reference in? Yeah. Yeah. Doom, our, Doom, <laughs> yeah. Doom, our latest single, call the radio station, tell them to play it in your local markets. Hell yes. All you right. got the video or are you going to play the song? I, I've got the video. Yeah, it's we'll uh, 30 seconds or so. I'm trying to show that Doom can be Doom in a horror movie, but it also we in light, we have Doom with drug addiction, and I try to always send a message in my song, so that's a little precursor to what, what, why those lyrics came out the way they did. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you can check out the whole video on YouTube. I know oh, it's yeah. out there. <laughs> that, I, that ties perfect in in with a, a horror movie, man. That is awesome. Yeah, oh, hell yeah. You can get to it's it through really cool. uh, your link really tree. The what? You have that link tree set up where it's got all your stuff, and that video is right out there on that as well. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. I always. Uh, I got that, you know, QR code thing. I always sign cards for all the fans, and it takes you right to it. So, but uh, yeah, Linktree. You can also click on it in my bio on Instagram. I know that. I don't know where else, but I leave that. <laughs> it's somewhere. Entries. It's it's out there. Yeah, just Google Kurt Dimer, K U R T D E I M E R. You'll find me. So easy enough. Absolutely. Yeah, I I, I had sent the your link tree to all these guys and I was like go check him out man and, and it's got everything it's got your website um, it's got your tour dates it's got it's got everything on here uh, it's got your music uh, it, it, it's just a one stop shop and that's that's excellent I mean that makes yeah. it so much easier for, for people to find and, it, and it's great yeah well, thank you man that was perfect man Dallas. Now, now I'm really thinking about Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> right. Woo. It's gonna be good. Uh, gonna be good. Sorry about that. Somebody was trying to call me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, go away. <laughs> so how Dallas, did, how did you get? That's right. How did you end up at the, the in the Halloween movie? Well, after trading paint, I. Uh, the, the guy I was working with at the time on these movies where we were doing the Starfire, you know how you see like products in the movies and stuff. Uh huh. I said, okay, well, I just got into trading paint. I go, is there any other ones that want to feature Starfire in the movie? And right away he said, how they want you to be in Halloween and get killed by Michael Myers. 
So I got a speaking role in Halloween getting killed by Michael Myers. And I think it was because I, they knew that I was so new into acting that I would be dumb enough to sit there in the chair for three hours while they put a prosthetic all over my face. <laughs> I had to shave my beard off. I had, I was, oh. you know, I'm already bald. And because uh, I shaved my head. And, but I had to, the biggest thing is I had to shave my beard and I hated that. But I was like, how can I not be in Halloween and be one of the few killed by the Michael Myers from the John Carpenter, the original franchise? So Damn right. Right. Well, that's how I got in it. And then uh, after that, I started getting other gigs, like smaller projects in Alabama and stuff, and really uh, learned and honed my skills on stuff that will probably never see the light of day. And then uh, Hellbilly Hollow came along, and uh, I produced that and uh, starred in it, and people were just are raving about it we had the film festivals and all that because i uh, i don't know i guess i was just born to do this i don't know I, I never went to acting school or anything i just do it now so that's crazy i've always wanted to get into acting but it's not something that you're just like oh hey here i am <laughs> no. hey the music business and the movie business it's cutthroat it's hard it's i know if i would continued with music at 20 I quit when I was 20 and had got married too young and then had three boys that are wonderful but anyways they uh and I did did all the dad stuff and got to spend all the time with my kids all those years while I was building my other companies but it uh it's not easy and if I would have done it then it would have chewed me up but now that I know business and I've been through life and I've all earned everything I've gotten nobody's handed me shit it's hard to dupe me now and the biggest <laughs> challenge is figuring out who's real and who's not you know and yeah. who's really got my back and who doesn't and that's been right it's kind of like I've been that's going, true I've only been touring less than two years now and we're, wow. we're already you can tell we're going like that so it's I'm very, very blessed <laughs> so that's a good feeling <laughs> yeah, it's awesome so so far with, with touring and playing with other bands is there like favorite band that you've toured with or done shows with that you have out there that you would just love to hit up again? Well, I, of course, Tesla. My, my manager's Brian Weed, the bass player of Tesla. <laughs> yes. So if I didn't say Tesla, that would probably not be good. But yeah, in all seriousness, Tesla it has been amazing to us. And uh, really, this Buck Cherry Skid Row tour has been amazing. It's been a great package of three bands. It's just our three bands that did, did those shows. And now it's just us and Buck Cherry. Um, but I've been thankful to everybody. I start my first tour ever hitting the stage since I was 20 with, was with Jeff Tate from Queensryche. And uh, the Jeff Tate now is what he performs under. And he's on my song Burn Together, which is on YouTube. And I think we're going to be doing another project here soon, which I can't really talk about. But uh, Jeff was very gracious and kind of helped me launch, if you will. And uh, so I'll never forget that. But uh, those those have been the most instrumental, those three uh, um, bands. Or four That's bands. awesome. John, Queensryche's one of your favorite bands, isn't it? Like, I do love me some Queensryche. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> well, check it out. I really Check out I wrote down the already. <laughs> Check out me and Jeff and Burn together on YouTube. Yep, I I wrote it down so I had my note for after the show. I can yeah. go check it out. Very cool. <laughs> I will. I will be getting into that one too. The handy dandy <laughs> notebook. I think you'll like our. I think you'll like our new uh, our song we're going to do together here coming up in the future. So stay tuned. See, there's that one oh, thing yeah. we can't talk about yet. We've yeah. got to have it every week. Every, every week. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to have me back on with that for that one, but uh, I'd be happy to anytime. Oh, we we would most definitely love to have you back on because, dude, you, you're like an onion, man. The more you peel back, the more there is. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> Maybe I should have Sean to start telling everybody I'm just an onion. You just want to talk to me. <laughs> Yeah. 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 The awesome blossom. The awesome. Oh, <laughs> I do like the awesome blossom. I do like that. So 
I feel like we've talked about more food in this show than we've ever talked about in this show. Other than when we talked about the Frosties, the strawberry Frosties with <laughs> strawberry Frosties. <laughs> <Strawberry. laughs> you can never go wrong. That one did go a while, but anyway. <clears throat> so, how did you hook up with Brian Reed? That, that's interesting. We, that's that's really we, cool. We did some shows September of last year with uh, Tesla in Texas and New Orleans. About a six show run. And we were in Midland, Texas, and I was sitting out in my little chair having a smoke outside the venue, and he walked by, and uh, he usually doesn't talk to people, and he said, man, I really dig your music and your style. I heard, came in and saw some of your songs, and said it sounds a lot like his band Soul Motor, his little side project, and he just said he dug my stuff, we shared some music, and you know, I kept on, didn't think really much of it, and we just stayed in touch and kind of became friends, and I was just thinking I'm kind of in a rut towards the end of last year. Nothing much was happening. My management at the time didn't have a lot of stuff going on for me on the books. And I just thought it might be time for a fresh start. And I really respect the fact that Brian and Frank and Jeff started that band with the, the, the other guys in the garage and as teenagers and built it to what mm-hmm. they did. Because I can relate to that because I built everything that I've done in my life from the ground up. So I just thought it would be a good fit, and he's not necessarily all tied into the L.A. thing. He's just a hard-working guy, and he's got his own style, and I just felt like he'd have my back and uh, could, could really guide me in the right direction. So that's how we met. I absolutely love Tesla. By far one of my favorite bands, and uh, I, I even got the Milkman's Son book, and I was like, yeah. Man, he's got a lot going on too, man. Uh, and yeah. Brian Weed's got, I mean, it, it's like uh, he didn't have a lot of confidence at first. And, and now he, he's just grown into himself. And it's, yeah. it's an amazing story. So if anybody wants to to, to get Brian Weed's uh, book, it, it, it's excellent. So yeah. go check it out. Son of a milkman. Yep. It's crazy. <laughs> he's a great dude. He's, he's a great dude. I'm very lucky to have him as my manager and guiding me through this uh, music business so it's we've been doing very well so far and we will be going out with Tesla on some dates in January and March just so you guys know that That's keep correct. Oklahoma City in, in mind I don't know why <laughs> yeah. he's supposed to be setting me the date so I'll know where it is and, uh, but I <laughs> Um, I, I think we kind of skipped over this a little bit, but where can we, like, uh, is Hellbilly Hollow out somewhere that we can see that? Or no, is there any way we can get our hands on that? No, I haven't uh, figured out who's going to distribute it yet. It's out being shopped, and quite honestly, I'd rather wait for it to come out until after Scared to Death does. With the has- okay, yeah, you did say that. Yeah, That's right. The That's right. It, so. But no, so it's not, you can't see it yet, but I'll, I'll be sure and let you guys know exactly when I know. So, oh, that'll be awesome. But it'll be coming, and uh, I'll probably be doing the horror convention circuit with the Grog and with Bull from Hellbilly Hollow. And so, <laughs> anything. I'm gonna play shows at the horror convention. I, that's the other thing you can do. You can go to the horror convention and then do a concert in town while you're at the horror convention. So, that'll right be on. <laughs> so. Love it. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Kurt. Is there anything else that you want to get out there? And uh, just, no, uh, just, I just want to thank all your fans. Thank you guys for having me. Um, without folks like you, nobody would know who I was or what I'm doing or what's coming out. And it's the easiest thing to do is just if you just, it's Kurt Dimer. It's pronounced Dimer, D-E-I-M-E-R-K-U-R-T. And you can find me at Kurt Dimer on any social media. Please follow us. I and very responsive to my fans, and I always will be. Um, love to meet you at a show. Go to KurtDimer.com. Subscribe to our YouTube, Instagram, all that stuff. Spotify, Apple, wherever you stream music. Check it out. Share it with your friends. and Get ready to hear some new uh, rock and roll the way we do it. You know, kind of like when a band comes out of nowhere and they don't sound like uh, maybe what you're used to hearing. So that, that's us. Yeah. 
Well on. Awesome. I, I liked what I heard. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For real, for real. People keep spreading the word. We're building it organically. And uh, every night before we go on stage, we say we're going to go play tonight, no matter what the size venue, like we're playing Madison Square Garden. It's, our goal is to play places like that and all over the world. So just help spread oh, yeah. the word. <clears throat> awesome. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. So well, you're welcome back anytime. Just let us know. Um, if you got anything to announce, any kind of tour, uh, anything else that you've got out there, any music you want us to help push, just hit us up. I mean, we'll we'll do anything for you. Yeah, we've got we've got Doom out there now. So anybody, anyone who can take the time to call radio and just even tell them to play any Kurt Dimer. I mean, we've got a lot of good songs out there on streaming and just help spread the word. And yeah, I'll, anytime there's an announcement, I'll tell Sean I want to make sure I get back on your show. So that's awesome. Thank I you so it. much, Kurt. You guys are awesome. Thank you for having me very much. I, I, I appreciate, appreciate you. All right. Peace to everybody. <laughs> Have a good one. All right. Thank you guys. Later. Later. Take care. Right. See you later. Kurt Dimer. Boy, yeah, he the is, onion. He's got his hand everywhere. Good. <laughs> Dude, Lord. I'm telling you, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's badass. <laughs> well, there he is. <laughs> What's going on? Not a whole What's lot. Up, How man? are you, man? I'm great, man. It uh, it was fighting me. It didn't want to let me in for a minute, man. But I'm well, here. It, it was kind of my fault. Um, <laughs> our guest was still on, and I was like, hmm. I, I hate to just bring somebody in and force you. Oh no, yeah, no problem, man. No problem. So I'm like, oh, and then I saw you disappeared, and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Missed a <your> chance. <laughs> So my name is Randy, and I'm uh, in Oklahoma City. What's up, Randy? How are you, buddy? I'm great, man. Great. <laughs> I'm Ashton. I'm also out here in Oklahoma City. Nice, man. We love Oklahoma City, man. Had a good time there. And good shit. I'm John. I'm in Topeka, Kansas. Hey, I like Kansas, too, man. Had great times in Kansas, so. <laughs> <laughs> so you're based out of Dallas, correct? Correct. All right. So I do remember seeing you at the Tower Theater here in Oklahoma City with Righteous Vendetta and Red. Okay, yeah, that was yeah. a while back, yeah. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> we, uh, yeah. So I, I went and me and my wife had an interview with Righteous Vendetta. We, we we're out in the back alley, the only quiet place, because you know sure. it, was, it was just like quiet. doing an interview out there. Then we go back in and uh, I'm like, Messer, Messer. I swear I've seen Messer before. And uh, you got out there just freaking just, we, my, me and my wife were just like, oh, hell yes. Yeah. So it was amazing. It was We went for Thank Righteous you. Vendetta and stayed definitely for you guys because it was, it was absolutely that. amazing. So great let's, musicians. Let's tell the other part of that story. Shut up, John. Uh-oh. Here we go. <laughs> right. <laughs> Getting let's, let's just tell the rest of the story, Randy. Well, sometimes I talk too much, John. I know. Sometimes <laughs> he thinks he knows a band, but it wasn't the band he thought he knew. Uh, yeah. I've, I've so, done that. So we we got up there and we saw Messer, and I'm like, how oh, we know Messer? They were in Rocklahoma. I was thinking of Hessler. Oh, and, okay. and I was I was waiting for her to come out, and then you come out, and I'm like, what, what, what the hell's going on? But this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. <laughs> so, thanks, John. No yeah, problem. I did play Rocklahoma. <laughs> I got up with Pop, with uh, Pop Evil one time in Rocklahoma a few years back, no, 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 no. and uh, did a song with him. Oh, a of times. Heck yeah. So. Yeah. So uh, Messer has not been to Rocklahoma, not as the band. I uh, I went there with Pop Evil and got up and did a song with them, and uh, and we, uh, you know, it's typically really bad weather during that time for some it reason. Is. So we're every like every time, every time, man. Yes. So uh, it's a little crazy. I think they're just cursed at this point, to be honest. I think so, man. It's crazy through that whole area. I remember leaving there that time, and it was flooded everywhere. It's just like crazy chaos. <laughs> I was like, dang. 
Yeah. Good Lord. Yeah. E- even changing, they went from what was it, Labor Day to Memorial or Memorial to Labor Day. Yeah. They didn't fix shit. When didn't do anything, man. Feel bad. The first one started. It used to be in July. Yeah. Yeah. Typically it was super hot. Dry, you know, dry and hot. <laughs> you know, so. They, they exactly. may want to rethink that. Take the heat over the tornadoes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, so many times. We're sorry we are evacuating the fairgrounds. Oh, my <laughs> God. And, <laughs> <right>? <laughs> Everybody packs their freaking mud boots, no matter oh, what. Yeah. Every time. So, I mean, it's just like standard equipment you take out yeah, there. for sure. Yeah, yeah, you're going to definitely be uh, getting muddy there for sure. So, <laughs> so I want to maybe jump us into some music chat. What do you think? Let's do it, man. <laughs> and I have a little segue because we're going to hear one of your songs that's out there. But the question that I have to you before we play a little short clip of it is, why cuts like a knife well a few reasons man i mean you know we love the song i've always loved brian adams you know um, i, I kind of was uh, living up north uh, during my high school years junior high and high school years and uh, we got turned on to a lot of canadian music you know everything that was canadian just kind of dripped down into that area so uh, you know i grew up hearing brian adams all the time and always loved the guy's voice and you know mm-hmm. a great song but, you know, my name is Messer, you know, the band's Messer, you know, and my last name, that translates to knife in German. So uh, it only made sense oh. that we do cuts like a knife, you know, hence the knife. So uh, nice. that's kind of the reason behind it all, you know. And, I, you know, and I kind of felt like it fitted, it fit my voice, you know, my vocal style a little bit as well. So that's just kind of why we did it, man. We, the, for the love of the song, really, you know. Absolutely. Well, it turned out absolutely wonderful. Thank you, man. Thank you. It was a fun song, man. We had a good time doing that one. And, uh, you know, we actually, Brian actually reached out to us through uh, TikTok and said he really loved the version and thanked us and all that. So, you man. know, our life's complete, man. Hell yeah. Cool. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, it was really cool. So I think <laughs> Randy's probably got that shortly queued up to get a little clip of it out there to you guys. You bet. Let's see what we nice. got here. Driving on the scene and could have swore we had it all worked out. Yeah, at this point, leaving way beyond the shadow of a doubt. Yeah, well, I heard it on the street. I heard you might have found somebody new. Yeah, well, who is he, baby? Who is he? And tell me what he means to you. Oh, yeah, took it all for granted. How was I to know? Shaping that it go. Dude, so good. So good. Now I you know that. why I stayed for Messer. I mean, that <laughs> amazing voice. Yeah, amazing voice, dude. Thank you, thank you so much, man. It's kind of funny, man. Someone sent us a video the other day, and they uh, sent it to our bass player. And I guess they were walking around through Lowe's, and it was on the system, man. They were playing it, so it's getting out there. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. Yeah. Did, did, you, did you have to jump through any hurdles, like writing Brian Adams and getting permission and, and all well, that type you know, of stuff? We- we just kind of went for it, and you know, um, our drummer's Canadian. He kind of uh, he grew up, you know, real close to where Brian Adams lived and grew up. So uh, we just said, you know what, we'll go for it and uh, beg for forgiveness if they say anything. But uh, we had some connections that uh, knew Brian Adams' team, mm-hmm. so uh, they reached out, and uh, surprisingly, man, he loved it. His manager loved it, and he loved it. So I was like, cool, man, we're good. 
I think it breathes new life into it. I mean, it's 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 wonderful, absolutely well, you know, wonderful. That's what, I, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to capture the you know the the, the 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 feeling of the song, you know. But I wanted to kind of approach it from a you know the heartfelt side. You know, this guy was really torn up about this girl. You know what I mean? So. But the video, we wanted to have fun with it too, you know. Brian, you remember the Brian Adams video? He's cutting the apple and all that stuff. Yeah, so yeah. We try to sneak in all those little things like that to make it fun, but uh, we still wanted to capture that, you know, that moment in time where the guy's losing the girl, you know, and, you know, his heart's twisted and broken. So it kind of came out in the recording. Yeah, love it. I, I remember. Uh, I, I think Shauna had sent it out. Um, on an email and stuff uh, months back, and my wife came down. Messer, have you heard? Have you heard this one yet? And I was like, no. And she goes, you got it. And, and so we we ended up sharing it on our website and everything. It was like, oh, that's Thank amazing. You, yeah, Thank that that you. is absolutely amazing. So definitely a win. Nice, and, man. Well, thank you, man. We greatly appreciate it. We have another surprise coming out here in a few months, too. Another cover. I'm not going to tell you what it is or who it's by, but <laughs> it's definitely going to be a banger, and it's going to be a throwback as well. So we're excited for that. And, and with that, if anybody out there wants to get a Messer knife that commemorates that song, those are available as well. Those are available on our website as well. Absolutely, man. For sure. At Messer Mart. Messer Mart, exactly. MesserBand.com. <laughs> Forward slash Messer Mart, I believe. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> the real question is, is that the knife you used in the video? Um, <laughs> you know, actually, um, I have a knife company, a custom knife company with a couple of my uh, junior high friends and uh, called Two-Headed Dog Knife Works. And the knife that I actually used in that video shoot was actually one of my knives. Yeah. Uh, oh, hell yeah. Quick. Hold on. I mean, look, I think it's right here. <laughs> so, yeah, we have some knives. I think this is the one I actually used right here. So, <laughs> that's awesome, that dude. Off, yeah, for sure. It's <laughs> good stuff. Yeah, lots of merch going on. Good stuff. A lot of merch. Tons of cool stuff, man. Tons of cool I stuff. Like the hats. Yeah, man. We got, we <laughs> sell a lot of hats. So, um, we teamed up with a buddy of ours from here who makes really cool custom stuff like that, and he uh, and we created tons of cool hats. And you know, we usually sell fifty or sixty of those on a show. So, if you want a hat, man, or t-shirts or anything, please hit that side up and uh, get you some merch. It helps because I'm a hat guy. Those are I like the red. Yeah, the red, the red <laughs> pop for sure. Yeah, I love it. If I can get my mouse Only available at Messer Mart. That's right. Right. <laughs> or the show. Yeah, come to the show. Yeah, it. that's actually exactly. where we have, we have a cool tent that we set up with all of our cool stuff, and uh, that's a, a, you know, it's always fun to kind of tour that and see everything in person, man. Too. Right. So make sure yeah. you guys are seeing us. So, do you guys come have any? OKC. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you guys have any any? Uh, tours planned or any shows that you guys are going to be doing in, yeah we do we, have a hand, we do have a handful of shows uh left this year we've kind of focused we locked ourselves in the uh, studio and went ahead and knocked out three songs we did that song and uh, a new original that's coming out real real soon that's a total banger i think that one's really going to do well and then we have uh, another cover we don't typically do many covers but you know we um uh, we found a couple songs that really fit my vocal style that we just, you know, thought, you know, why not? You know, so let's do them and see if we can make uh, you know, people have some nostalgic uh, feelings. You know what I'm saying? Brokers. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. I'm racking my brain trying to think of yeah. at least what the band would be. <laughs> I'll tell you this. It was from, it was uh, on a killer movie soundtrack. And um, it was from that same era, man, back in the 80s. So. I feel like any show, once, be, uh, the, once the uh, cover's thrown in while you're playing a live show, like the crowd just jumps, it's going. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, we haven't actually played cuts, um, cuts Like a Knife yet live, so uh, we're excited to do that one, get the crowd participation in there, you know, everyone's going to know that, you know. So. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're real excited for that. That's going to be Love a good it. one. Love it. 
So yeah. right now you're just writing, locking yourselves away. Um, are, yeah. are you going to do like an album or are you going to do an EP? Man, maybe an EP, you know, I mean, we've done the album before and, um, you know, how with radio and stuff, you know, you got about three songs and then they're like, well, we want a new album, you know what I mean? Or yeah. a new song. And it's like, well, we still have seven incredible songs on this album, you know, we'd like to push it, you know, so they're real, that side of it, you know, kind of sucks for the band. You know what I mean? So I think moving forward, we're going to kind of focus on singles, you know, I mean, everyone mm -hmm. likes a single, just try to put a single out every few months, you know, every two and a half, three months and uh, go that way. We are uh, remastering our whole uh, album and our, all our whole catalog, actually, in uh, Dolby Atmos. So uh, you can find Sweet. those songs Sweet. You know, through Apple, Apple Music, and it'll blow your mind. Put on some headphones and just escape for an hour. It'll blow your mind. Quality. Really cool. That sounds like really cool. awesome. I have a question <laughs> about one of your other videos. Um, everything sure. beautiful. Like, how long did that animation process take for that video? You know what? That's a good question. That was someone approached us on that and decided, you know, wanted to do something with that, and uh, we kind of let them have their free reign on that, and uh, they put that together, and it's so cool. You know what I mean? I'm, I look at it and go, "Oh my god! I cannot believe that this person did that!" But it's phenomenal. I really, really love that. It brought new life to that song for sure. Yeah, I was just curious. <laughs> I was watching it earlier, and I was like. You know, I wonder how long something like this really takes. Like, how yeah. many? <laughs> well, you know, right. I would imagine it depends on how good you are and how good your software is and all that stuff. But I would still imagine it probably took the guy, you know, a few weeks, I'd imagine. Just as a guess. Right. I'll have to get back to you on that. That's a great question. All right. <laughs> right. I'll figure it out for you. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm going to look into that. thing. <laughs> See, you guys, you guys have been out on the road and do, done shows with tons of huge bands out there. Like, who is your favorite to play with? Man, we have so many that uh, we just have had a, so much fun with. Uh, we, You know, we right before COVID, we were out with Scott Stab, you know, for a... Uh, geez, three months maybe. We did like 74 shows with them all across oh, wow. the country. Which was um, really, really fun. That was a really fun tour, and Scott's a great guy. His whole family's amazing, and uh, mm -hmm. real happy for them that they're doing the Creed thing again. That's a big, big, big thing. So. Yeah. That was really cool. We always love to tour with Pop Evil. Those are good friends of ours, too. We have a blast with them. But man, I love Pop good. Evil. I yeah, love they're them. so good, man. Such, such cool guys, you know. Really cool guys. And uh, I still keep in touch with Lee all the time and stuff, too. So, you know. Those guys, for sure, we always have a blast with. You know, nothing more, not nothing more, I'm sorry, non-point, non-point with the flat. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Non-point. Lacey Stern, you know, you know, the Red Tour, that was a super fun one. So uh, a lot of great musicians out there. They're just great people, too, you know, which always makes it better, you know. You don't want to go out on tour with some assholes, you know, that just uh, right, right. themselves. <laughs> I don't want to talk. I'm too big, you know. They're, luckily, unfortunately, we've been... Uh, blessed to you know tour with a bunch of great people so uh always been a good time do, do you think the the there's been a shift from the old rock star to the new rock star and their personalities and and how they treat people and how they treat their fans yeah yes there, I, you know some people say that rock and roll is too safe these days you know i've been at this a long time i've you know i came from the days where you're you know wasted every night playing your shows and you know mm -hmm. The women, the booze, you know, the, the whole thing. Um, but I'm sober now. I'm almost 15 years sober. So uh, congratulations. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, you know, we come at it from a different approach. We kind of focus more on the music and making sure that it's, you know, um, hits people differently. You know, we're more focused on that these days than the party lifestyle of it. But, uh, mm -hmm. You know, I, I would say things have definitely changed, you know, from those days, you know, when you got the guy that's always wasted, is he going to show up to the show or not? You know, the Axl Rose, the Scott Weiland's out there, you know. <laughs> yeah, it, it's just not su sustainable. Um, there you go. It, it's really not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard a new song by them today, man. It was really, it was pretty cool. Uh, was it Perhaps? Yes. It was oh. that one. Oh, yeah, I thought you were going to say perhaps and say a song. Perhaps, perhaps it was. Dot, dot, uh, dot. 
But I, you know, I would not have remembered the title unless you would have said. That. Was it? <laughs> hey, Randy, to, to appease you, was it perhaps? Perhaps. It there was, you go. I feel better about that. There we go. But you know what? It wasn't bad, man. It wasn't bad. So, uh, you know, it was cool. For them to that still be awesome. at it and kicking ass like that. We played with Slash, man. That was a huge show. That was actually in Oklahoma, Windstar. Oh, that was yeah. A crazy oh, fun yeah. show. Speaking okay. of fun shows, that was a fun one, man. Of course, we got. <laughs> I'd be but awesome. That was, a, that was like the old school days, though, because that was the uh, rock star moment because we got kicked out of the place afterwards, man. So. <laughs> Damn. Uh, what did you do? I had to drive back home to Texas, man, from Windstar. It sucked <laughs> after a big show uh, like that. There was some crazy thing that happened with his uh, security guard, and uh, I don't know. I think he was after one of the girlfriends of the band or something. I don't know what happened exactly, but all I know is we were told to leave the vicinity. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that's a rock star moment for you. <laughs> oh, oh my shit. lord yeah that was fun now, I, don't, oh, I bet I could be wrong but I I thought I noted this down um, are you guys linked with Blind Anxiety Entertainment no no we're with FM Management now oh, uh, we're, we're, did you do some stuff with them at some point I don't remember what I saw on the site it's very possible I mean we've worked with a few different people you know right on yeah, James is a is a friend through social media and stuff. And different- oh, James, yeah, yeah, that was a that was a while back. Yeah, yeah. Now so I remember. I had seen that and I was like, oh, I, we've worked with a lot of his bands. So I was just curious if yeah. we're still doing it or not. No, we're with FM <laughs> Management now, and uh, you know we've pretty much have stayed independent through this whole thing, which is you know. It's a tough road, you know, for an independent band, but, you know, we've been really blessed that, that we've, you know, been able to tour and uh, put out music that you know, has impacted some people. You know, we still have fans from, we still have fans that hit us up from the Red and Lacey, you know, Lacey Sturm tour. That, like, that was so that. awesome. It's so nuts, man. They, they still reach out to us. So, uh, we're, you know, we've been really, really blessed and, you know, very thankful for all those moments that we had with those guys. Yeah, when when Shauna said, "Do you want to set up Messer?" I was like, "It was it was a hard yes." I, it was like, "Oh <laughs> I, hell yes!" I mean, there was there was no hesitation. I'm like, "Yes, please." Here's nice, here's the next man. dates. So, yeah, you please. you made an impact on me at, at that show, uh, and man, I was. You I, know what? That's our goal every night. You know, is is to leave people, um, you know, with those feels. You know, and with the, the way our music is is you know our live sound. Um, we spent so many hours, our bass player and our producer and all of them, they spent so much time um, dialing in our sound. And we have a phenomenal live uh, sound guy, too, that uh, it's his passion. Mm-hmm. He's not good at much anything else, but he is such <laughs> an incredible sound guy that it blows people's minds, you know. It really does. It's like uh, all those bands we toured with would be, like, just mind-blown after the show going, how did you guys get that sound, you know, out of that? And then... So he ends up spending the rest of his night, you know, talking to the house guy and, or talking to the other bands about, you know, their sound guys trying to help them figure out that, uh, that thing. But man, we leave people with the feels. Every- yep. I lost sound. Yeah, there it is. Lost sound on you there for a second. Oh yeah, someone tried to call me. Man. Oh okay. <laughs> Same with the last one. Yeah, deja vu. Somebody did that on our last interview. <laughs> I'm just sitting there listening. I'm like, so my message. Right, like, hang on. Make sure my headphones are in. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I need some like that. <laughs> Are we back now? Yep. I think we're all, all good now. Everything is everything yeah, is good. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Man, so we need to make it back up to Oklahoma City, man. We've always like I said, we've had a blast there every time we've been up that way. So uh. Yeah, absolutely. Um at, it, there's not as many places to play anymore. Um it's just Dude, that's everywhere, man. That's everywhere. <sighs> that's what's really hard for a band like us, you know, at our level, you know, it's really tough after man, everything went 
belly up, you know, and uh, you did. You know, they're out there trying to open up new places and stuff, but it's it's real tough for those mid level bands to, uh, you know, mm-hmm. to go find places that you know perfect or perfect for our style and our you know our size. Yeah, tough, totally man. agree. Number, yeah. I mean, it it's it's definitely been world, a struggle. But, yeah, it's it's a, you know it's a struggle for sure, oh, and yeah. uh, you know it's tough, but. Uh, that's why we're still making music, though, you know. We're not going to quit doing that, you know. So, you know, it's just uh, maybe fewer shows, but uh, I think next year is going to be a lot bigger for us. We're playing around really hitting the road and trying to get to a lot of fans because people hit us up all the time. It's like, come back here. And we're like, well, where do you – where is there to play there? Well, we don't really have anywhere. We're like <laughs> – Exactly. <laughs> just hop in the bus and drive out. around and say hello to everyone. Have you ever right. played in the backyard? Yeah, yeah exactly. sat up in the mall parking lot. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, it's those weird one-off shows these days that you almost have to do. You know, it's just uh, cause hell it's just yeah, so strange out there. Before COVID, I mean, we were on such a big roll. I mean, we were basically coming off that big run with Scott Staff. We were planning on heading right into the studio, cutting a new song, and heading right back out. And all of a sudden, whoo, everything came to a screeching halt, yeah. you know, as it did for everyone. You know, so. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's been tough, man. Unfortunately, it's tough, for sure. And it's it's a whole new world right now. A lot of things changed, and uh, it's it's. I don't know. We've just got to keep adapting, I guess. But you know, yeah, that's what they say, just... man. But you know, one thing that stayed solid is music. You know, people still rely on that, and you know, there's a lot of people you know who, uh, you know, struggle with mental issues and you know mental health issues all the time, and you know that mm-hmm. is their escape. You know. Going yeah. to live shows really, really saves them every night, you know. So uh, I'd hate to really see that go away, you know, because so many, so even us, you know, as musicians, we depend on it, you know, that yeah. change of energy, you know, with the crowd. And um, it's tough, man, you know. It is. <laughs> it's tough. Uh, yeah. It, it, it's Like I said, we're going to adapt and we're going to survive. It's, yeah. it's it's gonna it's gonna make it. I, everybody's just got to go out to the shows. Everybody everybody was so tore up that everything yeah. was shut down, and now everything's open, and they're still not coming out. It's, it's, I know. Come on, guys. It, it, and the first thing they say, I don't know, are they gonna live stream it? Really? I know. <laughs> Get out there. We did that forever. We we would live stream every show, and. Yeah. Um, and then we started saying, well, you know what? Let's make people come out. Maybe that's why they're not coming out. They can just sit at home and live stream us. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> it's crazy. Come out. Come out to the shows. Let's make this thing happen again. So, yeah. Please. <laughs> that's the message, man. That's the message, you know. Oh, Get yeah. Get out there. See your favorite bands. Support them. And, uh, you know, it's as, as important to us as it is to you, you know. So, absolutely well thank you so much i really appreciate it and and messer means a lot to me uh, man, they, they really do and tell your wife thank you for uh shoving it in your face man we oh. appreciate it <laughs> we do appreciate she, it she's usually way above me in finding great bands she she'll just like That's boom awesome. boom 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 no you've got to listen to this so it, it's great it's great <laughs> man. That's great well man i encourage everyone to go check out our dolby atmos uh, uh, remixes um remastered versions i should say they're available on apple music man if you got apple and you got some good headphones or whatever or some good ear pods go listen to those because it's so amazing the quality will blow your mind. You really will. Just close your eyes and drift off for a while. You'll, your mind will be blown. Even the cuts is... like a knife versions of that in that way too. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. something to hear, man. You will hear stuff that you don't normally hear. So. That's really cool. That's awesome. That's always fun. Virtual reality for the years, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I could already see Ashton doing it. He's he's like Apple everything. I I I, I yeah. just. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. For sure. <laughs> go do this. Yeah, if you're an audio file, man, you've got to go do it. You would blow your mind for sure. I'm ready got for to it. Go to the studio here and listen to it all when it was done, and it was just like, yes. This is cool. Oh, my God. I bet that was amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. So cool, man. <laughs> 
So cool. And I appreciate so. you guys so much. Thank you, the you know, on behalf of the rest of the guys in the band. We appreciate you guys for you know sticking with us and not forgetting us and uh, sharing our stuff, man. It's it means the world to us. Absolutely, absolutely. Anytime you have anything new, please let us know. Come back on the show. Just hit us up. Uh, we're on social media, uh, bleachbangs.com. Uh, just you, you just too. get us. Go subscribe. You too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, we're gonna check you guys out, man, 100, percent and uh, follow you and all that good stuff, and um, you know, uh, spread the word, man, like you guys do, man. We appreciate it more than you, you know, than words can say, man. So, we got something new coming out real soon, so I promise you, you're gonna hear this one. So, good. Hell well, yeah. We appreciate you. Absolutely, man. Thank you guys, and you guys have a good night, man, and uh, rock on. You do the same. You too, man. Later. Later. All right. Now I want to go hear this. Uh, Messerband.com, if you were looking, go check it. It's in the comment section as well. Go get really go buy me the red hat. Go buy me the red hat. <laughs> It'll match my red shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Those guys are amazing. They they really are. And if you ever get a chance, go and check out Messer seriously. Um, like I said, I I went from oh I know who Hessler. It, wait a minute, that's not. And then you <laughs> at first you're disappointed, and then you're just not disappointed. It was right. like whoa. So yeah, it, it it was it was a roller coaster ride, but I I, I would definitely ride that again. Whoa, that there. sounded dirty. It did, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, y'all have anything else? Um, I don't. I don't have anything else to, that's important. So, let's. Uh, oh, Fair enough. But for real, go subscribe. Go like the stuff. Share it. Whatever you got to do. Not just us. Of these bands that we're talking to. Absolutely. Right. Right. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> go, go buy their merch and go to the shows. Please. Oh, and speaking of which, I've been saying this on the show multiple times over the past, you know, year or whatever. Those venue fees for merch, apparently Live Nation is canceling. Right. That. So they finally tuned in and were listening to me. And that's <laughs> you guys are welcome. God. Thanks, John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Well, I guess we'll see you guys next week. Absolutely. Works for me. <laughs> Have a good one. Later. Friends too.